skin and its appendages. Integument. Main questions. Functions of the skin. Protection of underlying tissues. Water and salt exchange. Regulation of body temperature. Its important sensory organ. Vitamin D synthesis take place in the skin. Participation in immune processes. Skin is the largest organ of the body. Its weight about 4 kilograms. Its square more than 2 square meters. There are thick skin, 5 millimeters thickness on the palms and soles, and thin skin, about 0.5 millimeters thickness. It cover other parts of the body. Skin is tubular organ. It consists of three membranes. Epidermis, outer membrane, dermis, middle, and hypodermis, or subdermal adipose tissue. Epidermis is stratified squamous keratinized epithelium. It consists of five layers in thick skin, first stratum basale or basal layer located on basal membrane, consists of cuboidal cells. The second layer is stratum spinosum or spinose layer. It consists of 10-12 Spinose layers of spinose cells. They connected strongly by spines with desmosomes. Stratum granulosum, the third layer, contain basophil granules in cytoplasm. Stratum lucidum, like the lucid or light pink ribbon and the thickest stratum corneum consists of squamous contain soft keratin it for cellular structures not cells contain no nuclei and organelles there are several types of cells in epidermis the main type keratinocytes they compose 85% of cells of epidermis. Its special population or differon of cells producing keratin. And from the beginning, this is basal membrane and in stratum basalis, stem cells and basal cells located. They contain special filaments from protein keratin. Then they move to the next layer and differentiate to spinose cells. They contain tonofibrils and keratinosomes. Then granular cells from tonofibrils and keratinosomes. They appeared Keratin healing granulus. Then uh, lucid cells in stratum lucidum, not shown here. Previous protein convert to filagrin and keratolinin, which accumulated in cytoplasm under cell membrane and between cells and nucleus and organelles disappeared. Fifth, layer carnified squamous cells 
looks like uh, 16 angles flat plates contain no nuclear intogonels and connected glue uh, these special lipids ceramides so during 40 days cells of epidermis keratinocytes replace for new epidermal proliferation units consist of 20 up to 50 cells in the middle of column special dendritic cells of langergans or epidermal macrophages situated these cells located in stratum spinosum and they have long processes and flattened nucleus and special granules like rockets or tennis and these Langengan cells are releasing the biologically active substances regulate proliferation and differentiation of keratinocytes and organize them into the column starting from stem cells and finished by squamous and finally the superficial squamous lost the intercellular contacts and shadow and replaced by new and new cells another function they phagocyte and represent antigen to lymphocytes so participate in immune reactions melanocytes about 10 percent of keratinocytes in amount their body located in stratum basalis and the long processes go through stratum spinosum up to stratum granulosum these cells under ultraviolet light synthesized the pigment inclusion melanin in melanosomes produced by Golgi complex then these melanosomes are moving into processes and release into intercellular spaces and phagocyted by keratinocytes of stratum spinosum they accumulate them and they located under the nuclei like umbrella and protect nucleus the cells from dangerous effect of ultraviolet at the same time melanin protect the whole skin and underlying tissues from ultraviolet melanin synthesis stimulated by melanocyte stimulating hormone of the middle lobe of hypothesis tactile merkel cells located at basal layer of epidermis they often combine by 20 cells into merkel discs responsible for the tactile sensitivity they produce gamon like substances which regulate proliferation of epidermis tension and permeability of blood vessels and also can enter the blood circulation and make the distant effects these cells are originated from neural crest and belong to the put system of individual hormone producing cells 
so to diffuse part of endocrine system. Usually the dendrites of sensory neuron come here to get information and convey excitation for these cells. Dermis consists of two layers. Papillary layer consists of dermal papillas, consists of loose connective tissue. They contain a lot of blood capillaries which supply feeding and supply with oxygen the epidermis. The thick epidermis, the more pronounced papillas of dermis. Reticular layer, it, it's dense, irregular connective tissue. Elastic and collagen fibers going in all three directions. It's the strongest layer of skin. Subcutaneous adipose tissue or subcutis or hypodermis contain adipose tissue. It provides the skin mobility, provide protective function and storage of nutrients. There is unique individual fingerprints of human depending on the dermis papilla. They push epidermis and these rings provide these unique fingerprints, ductular scopy, which widely used in forensic medicine for identification of personality. The skin has a well-developed blood supply. There are deep and superficial vascular plexus, capillary loops and uh, every dermal papilla. Innervation of skin. There is somatic and autonomic nerve supply of skin. Skin is tremendous receptor field. There are a lot of receptors which stand the numerous reflex arches. Through the skin, the body communicates with environment. There are free and encapsulated receptors, nerve endings. There are many receptors which accept pain, pressure, temperature, and so on. In papillas, there are Meissner corpuscles, tactile receptors, sensitive to for touching. They are especially numerous in the fingers. Blind persons can, using these receptors, can get the image of environmental things or print the computer board using the special alphabet of brain with extended letters. Lamellated corpuscles of Fater Pacini located in the deeper portion of skin, the receptors of pressure. Appendages, derivatives of skin, are Hairs, sebaceous glands, memory glands will be studied in female reproductive organs unit, sweat glands, and nails. Hairs consist of hair stuff under the surface of skin and hair root. 
inside skin. There are hair follicle around and extension bulb and papilla. There are inner pink here and outer blue here, epithelial root chest. The outer epithelial root chest is continuation of epidermis of skin. And outside follicle there is the connective tissue chest. And there is also erector pili muscles, the bundles of smooth muscle cells. When they contract, they can up the hairs. There are sweat glands in the deeper portion of dermis and sebaceous glands. This some larger figure of hair root. This is a hair medulla cortex and cuticle on the periphery. Hair follicle consists of inner epithelial chest, outer epithelial chest and connective tissue chest and it's continue into the connective tissue hair papilla. This is bulb. So here located the stem and proliferating cells. The end cells differentiated and moving and it is the source of hair growing. Here the pigment cells, melanocytes located, they synthesize melanin and uh, supply them the growing differentiating cells of the hair cortex and provides a specific color to the hairs. This is a hair popular with blood vessels which feed in the hair. Free nerve terminals of the hair follicle. This is a hair shaft by scan electron microscopy and hair cuticle covered by consist of flat cells, squama of epidermis, scales of epidermis. Sweet glands are simple coiled tubular glands. There are about two and a half millions of them in the skin. The coiled secretory portion at the section and give several cycle sections in histological preparations. Most of glands are merocrine and there are some apocrine, much larger apocrine glands appeared following sexual maturation. Apocrine it means during secretion the apical portion of secretory cells destroyed and included into the secret. And there are mere epithelial cells also around. When they contract they push 
the secretary portion and help to release the sweat for the duct. This is a duct and it looks like chain of vesicles when it goes through the stratum squamosum. Sebaceous glands located more superficially. They are simple alveolar glands, branching glands. The secretus cells called seba cells because they secrete sebum which release to the surface of skin and hair and protect it lubricate the type of secretion is golocrine it means that cell then accumulated the sebum it died, destroyed, and included into the secret. So there are types of cells, stem cells and proliferating cells near the basal membrane. Then young cells maturating, accumulating the secret, and then degenerate it and release inside duct and include it into the secret. The basal and spinose layer of epidermis. They these cells can proliferate and compose a geminative or geminal zone under the nail root. Here cells proliferate, maturate and compose the keratin of the nail. It's uh, analog of stratum squamosum of epidermis of skin. Skin development. Epidermis and derivatives of skin develop from skin ectoderm surrounding the embryo. Dermis of skin developed from summits dermatomes of mesoderm.